Okay guys, now that I'm officially out of Windows for good, except for times that I told you that I will do tutorials that belong to Windows, understanding that most of you watching are probably on Windows, so that will remain as a side, but for me personally, I will be running with Voyager. I found it easy to use for me, it has every single thing I need from an operating system, and I will give you just a few things why I like Voyager. For example, one of the browsers that I use will be Thorium. Here I'm on YouTube. On Windows, with Brave supposedly being the fastest, I had a million pop-ups going in and out, but here I'm in YouTube, and I'm scrolling. I'm still scrolling. Do you notice something that I could never do with Windows. Now all these thumbnails that you're seeing here that are loading effortlessly, this would never happen with me on Windows with the browsers that I was using on Windows. And furthermore, if you click on a video, it actually goes to that video. Lockpicking Lawyer, for example, is something I would click. And let me just block the uh, sound of the ad. I could skip it. I'm just going to pause it here. Yes, I have the ability to block ads, but I'm not going to. Not only because of YouTube's thingy with do not block ads and all that, but because I am a YouTuber and it would be very hypocritical of me to say that I want to block ads because they're annoying. Obviously, on YouTube, I make money because of those ads. And if I watch another YouTuber, I want him to have the same exact opportunities as me to make money from those ads. So yeah, I will be watching ads. I will endure the five seconds that I will see my gray hair coming out. Because now, obviously, we cannot take five seconds to watch an ad until you can click this little skip right here. Seriously, guys, it's, it's up to you, obviously. You block ads, you block ads. I, myself, will not block ads. Because... I respect other YouTubers, if I learn something from them, or I get entertained from them, I want them to make the same money that I'm making. If they make more, more power to them. But what I'm saying here is that, as you see, everything just loads. There's no glitches, there's no weird pop-ups, there's no weird stuff going on, and it simply works. Now, you would say, but what would you use something that you wanted a little bit more stuff on your browser. Well, 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 let me close this one. For more stuff on my browser, I am with Mozilla, and I'm on the Mozilla 19.0 for Ubuntu, obviously, because I'm on Ubuntu 23.10. It works absolutely beautiful. That is all I need for browsing, downloading, and all that good stuff. Here's the downloads. It just works. Well, then you would say, does it work with video editing? How are you going to edit your videos? Well, I've been editing, besides Filmora 12 sometimes, I've been going with Caden Live. As you see, it's this one right here. It looks very scary right now because I'm on the scary mode on it. But if you click here on editing, this one becomes like a cute puppy. You have all your controls right here, including noise suppressor for voice, noise reduction, however you would like to call it. It just works flawlessly. You right click on it, you have the quick settings to change speed, remap, and all that good stuff. You go right here, you have editing, you go to the audio, you can fix your audio, and you can go right here, for example, this is the audio part of it. You have all the audio effects. If you need to do any voice suppression and all that good stuff or noise suppression, extremely beautiful. You have channels, you have equalizers and filters. LA DSPA are the plugins. That's where you would get your noise suppressor, simple delay line, vocoder, all that beautiful stuff that you would get on Microsoft as well. But you have to pay a lot of money. Plus, kind of forcing yourself to use Caden Live and in it is just in my opinion, this one. I would highly suggest everybody to learn. You will learn on Caden Live to actually jump on almost any other professional grade or professional level video editor with ease. Now, do I have options to do kind of easier video editors? Yes, there are. If you go here, sounds and all that, you have, for example, an easy one would be OpenShot. OpenShot is one of those crazy easy video editors and yes, in this uh, operating system, I can actually do two video editors at the same time, and it works without a single 
problem as you see right here. It's working. It has all the effects and transitions, emojis, project files, magnet. This magnet here is for snapping. When you add a second video, it snaps with the first one without having to go in and out. This is for zoom in and out. You have cutting. Look at this one. You can go zoom in to milliseconds up to minutes and however long your uh, track or video is. It's beautiful. This one is very simple and very easy to use. This is Caden Live, by the way, that I use all the time because it simply works. Here are the effects that I would go to. I can apply all the effects I need right here. It's really easy. This is the audio effects. You can click video effects, masking, keying, blurring, color correction, grain and noise reduction or increase 3D FFT denoiser. Really good, by the way, if you shoot videos on low light. I tried it. It works flawless. And guess what? It's all open source and it's free. You're paying zero dollars for a huge, huge value in software and learning. You are learning. There is no amount of money you can put over learning that will remain with you for life. So if you jump from this one to another professional grade editor, you will feel very familiar. I have nothing against the simple editors for something quick or if you don't want to get involved, but I highly suggest you give a try to Caden Live. You will be amazed how much you can do with this one. And yes, there's add-ons and there's other stuff that you can download for free, for free for it. Plugins, know all that stuff that you can make it the perfect video editor. And here's the color correction and color grade and all that good stuff that looked scary in the beginning. There's nothing scary here. By the way, it's just simple editing. If you wanna change colors, you wanna rebalance colors. In my video, for example, here, it doesn't really even make sense for me to do all that work because it's a simple tutorial or a review video that even you don't even need or care to see that much detail. But if I was editing a video that requires higher color grading and more detail, or if I was doing some kind of beautiful mountain or a sky star shooting, all that good stuff. Yes, I would go with Caden Live without even thinking it twice. It is absolutely beautiful. Now let me show you something else that you can do on, uh, I'm not gonna save this one, that you can do on any, most of the distros, especially Voyager, Ubuntu, I'm used with Ubuntu, maybe that's why I feel so cocky talking about it but for example let me go to settings let's see these are the apps that you have right almost like apple style if you go to settings let me just put settings it's it's that easy click settings you are at settings let's go here at network now you could either set a proxy you can go configure it manually enter the url and ftp and the sock and all that it's it's really easy you can Google it. It's it's that easy. But if you want to add a VPN, for example, but you don't want to pay for it, but still want to have a VPN, there's tons of open source VPNs out there or free VPN services that do a stellar job. I mean stellar job. You just come here to VPN, click this plus. Here are your options. Open VPN, PTP tunneling, WireGuard, or you can import an OVPN file or OpenVPN file that you can download from OpenVPN itself or from other sites. I myself would highly suggest going with WireGuard. WireGuard absolutely rocks in every single measure, whether you're gaming or streaming or working from home, extremely fast. And yes, you can actually get servers and you don't have to pay for them because it is made to be free. Yes, you have uh, paid options as well, but you can get it for free too. And you can focus on other stuff in your life instead of having to get tangled on thinking about the small stuff. And these are just small things that work, simply work out of the box with any Linux distro, or at least with Ubuntu that I have here. This is something that with Microsoft, it was seriously cr crumbling my brain because it was not working. And really, I don't have time to waste trying to figure out why is Microsoft not working? Why is Windows 10 not working? Why can I not work with Windows 11? Why are these updates kicking in now? And every time, if you remember on Microsoft or Windows, when there is an update pending, even though it was not downloading, you put it on pause, your system would start slowing down. Why? I don't know. I guess ask Microsoft. Not 
talking about the data that they collect and how they do that part, I disagree. I 100% disagree with that. It's none of their business because I'm paying for that license. But now, thankfully, we have Voyager, we have Ubuntu, we have so many distros. If you seriously want to learn about any kind of Linux distro, my suggestion would be Linux Mint. Just go search some videos on YouTube, watch some videos on Linux Mint, and decide for yourself. If you want a distro that's almost a spitting image of Microsoft, I would highly suggest Zorin OS. You can grab a free copy. They have a paid version as well, but you can grab, grab a free uh, copy of it, install it on a machine or an external drive or something, take it for a spin, take a look at it, See if you like it. I bet the more you start using Linux or Ubuntu or whatnot that we're talking about here, open source, the more you're going to love it. The more you're going to love the part that you don't have anything intrusive on it. You're not wasting your time thinking about stuff that should already be there done for you. So you have more time to focus on what matters, why you're here for, and what you're supposed to do. And yes, if you're a gamer, if you're streaming, recording your stream, here it is, OBS. Yes, it works, believe it or not. And yes, you can install games. There is ways to install uh, most of the Windows software. If you still have something left over <laughs> from a Microsoft EXE files that I do not miss a lot, here is everything you would need. You can go to Wine, install Wine, play on Linux. There's so many ways to do that. Yes, I have Goyo here. That's the noise reducer for uh, whether it be OBS or any of other software that I needed to. I have VB Audio. I have everything that I need. Seriously, it just works. You have Wine Tricks, Wine Glass. You have all that beautiful stuff without having to waste your time. This is just my opinion. This is not something that I'm trying to persuade you to do this or that or choose this instead of that. That is not my intention absolutely at all. This is all up to you. I myself will be saying bye-bye to Microsoft Windows forever. As I said, except for the times that I will have to do a tutorial for you guys. In that case, yes, I will jump back into my uh, other drive that I have installed already that I used to have Windows on it and I still do. That would be the only time I turn on Windows. Other than that, that's all I had to tell you. And next time, probably you'll see a video on how to search like a boss. I mean it. You click one search and you can go through every single search engine in existence. And you will not want to miss it. You will love it. And with that said, please like and subscribe. I hope you learned something. You can share this video with somebody that would like to learn or see me ranting about why I like this Voyager. We'll see you next time. Bye!